اسلام سرايا المرابطين استهداف قاعد تمشي Alishba, who has Down syndrome, had a normal daily routine before the coronavirus pandemic. She would wake up early in the morning and get ready for school. But since the closure of schools, she is now studying online. Alishba's mother says she now has to be by her side at all times. When she has her online classes, I have to sit with her, which means I run late in my work chores at home. The Child Welfare Center at Punjab University trains children with special needs between the ages of 5 and 16, with classes including physiotherapy, speech therapy, music, and sports. The program at the university has been closed due to the coronavirus pandemic and is now only offering online classes. The program's principal admits that it is difficult for parents to tackle these responsibilities on their own. Teachers are skilled in this profession. Music teachers try to teach kids online who have access to Internet. Our sports teachers are also trying to teach basketball dribbling and yoga so kids don't get bored studying all day. For Abdul Hadi, the transition from in-person classes to online classes has been challenging. But Hadi's father says playing video games helps him stay calm. Before, he used to go to the park, go out, but now everything has stopped. He loves to play Ludo game. He gets everyone to play with him. Some parents are having to learn technology they didn't know so they can help their children. It's difficult, not just for my son, but for me as well. Sometimes I have to run to his aunts and uncles if I have technical issues, like the camera not working on something else. One, shabash. Abida Zahid, who is a teacher at the Child Welfare Center, says special needs children require one-on-one -on -one sessions because each child has a different learning curve. Having a class session with one child, you lose track of time because it takes time for you to set a special child's mood to learning. And it's a whole family effort to get them in that mindset. One, two, two pencils. Punjab University's Child Welfare Center is also providing online educational videos for parents so that they could better understand their children's needs and help come up with new ways of keeping them busy and educating them at the same time. COVID cases in Pakistan are dropping, so the government is considering opening schools in the near future. That's good news for parents who are working, teaching, and parenting all at the same time. For Samkhan in Lahore, Pakistan, Bejan Hamdard, VOA News.